right, the XLF407 out here at Campers Inn, Accra, Georgia, uh, XLR Nitro Behemoth triple axle toy hauler. Stick around. All right, guys, we are at Campers Inn in Ackworth, Georgia today. Beautiful sunny day. Glad you're here looking at this gigantuous 40 foot long XLR Nitro triple axle toy hauler uh, by Forest River. Uh, and it is awesome. So we'll start up front with the standard Rhino pin box, breakaway switch. Already see the exhaust pipe here, so you know we're prepped for a generator. Oh, there we go. And that's what's coming in a lot of these units now is this Yamaha inverter generator, and I'm really excited to see it. So, you know, a lot of people have a lot of issues uh, and service problems with the Cummins, it seems, the Onan Cummins. So I'm really anxious to see how these play out long term. Uh, but there it is, already sitting there, 5,500 watts. Love it. What's next to that? Let's open that up. And you've got oh, a lot of wires and cables. There is your battery hookups. Uh, here's all the battery cables. Uh, there's the in, two battery positives and one inverter positive. And there's the battery boxes that are vented. But if you're gonna upgrade to lithium, don't have to worry about that. All right, looks like standard front jacks. Let's look at the weight on this big girl here. Uh, gross combined vehicle weight rating, 21,000 pounds. 21,000 pounds and cargo carrying capacity is 6,311 pounds. So this is ready to take your toys. All right. So I'm going to have some propane here. And I stand corrected. That is a power jack in the front there. 30 pound propane tank on this side, and I almost guarantee you, 30 pound propane tank on the other side as well. It's like the back of the water heater right here. Underneath, I just happen to see that your low point drains are right here. On to this. These are pretty thick doors i wonder if there's any type of magnetic hold there's not and here is your auto level cable inlet satellite inlet um, level. battery disconnect uh, tank flushes and fresh water connections all that will come through this hole right there Rubber top, rubberized mat and nice aluminum framing. If you'll notice, uh, the AC duct is actually a square aluminum residential style duct. So that's how you know you're getting quality. Slides on this side, there are two slides and they both are cable driven slides. This was something. Down from the slides, you're going to have another pass through storage, which is again enormous. So much storage in this. Put just about everything you need to in there 50 amp service, back of the furnace. So you got your ground control 3.0 jack, mid jack here with your drains there, and kind of off underneath there, real hard to see, are your pull handles for your black and grays. All right, so behemoth triple axle on the Ridgeway Sport ST F rated tires, 16 inch tires. These are all three F rated tires with, I believe, dual 
Cree 3000 is already installed, so you don't really have to worry about that. Coming back again, cable slides. It's a toy hauler, so here's your gas tank, fuel pump, pump control. You move back, you're gonna have the ladder to get up on the roof. Some LED lighting around the back, so you can see what you're doing at night. Back door, again, with lighting. Wired for a backup camera. You put that ramp door down and you make your deck out of it, put the rails up. It's got a Thule awning that comes out over the entire thing. So very nice. Two power Solera awnings that cover the entire 40 foot almost of the side of this fifth wheel. Aluminum folding steps for the entry into the fifth wheel or the toy hauler area and solid steps for the main entry. Let's open this up. The Connex TV already sitting here waiting for you. This is just an amazing unit. We're gonna have the other 30 pound propane tank on this side. And those dual huge Solera awnings cover basically, like I said, the entire side of this fifth wheel. So, all right, we're gonna head inside and see what it's got to offer on the inside. This thing is enormous. All right, friction hinge door and in we go. Hi guys, we're gonna start in the back of this rig today. So this is the toy hauler area. It has a very large queen size bed and the two, um, chairs or benches that pull down and then space for the table. It also has the enclosed patio. Lots and lots of storage and windows. Very nice. Excellent second bedroom or glass, office. Glass doors. This would really be just an amazing place to put either your toys or whatever or or, or just to have like a bonus office. room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these, these couches feel so nice. I like these a lot. Like they're they're squishy and yep, yep. good upholstery. Washer, washer dryer, or washer hookup right there. Right. Put your dryer van outside if you need to, so you could put both of those right there. Okay, so when you open up the door, you step into the bedroom, which this is really nice. Also, they've they've really done well with the decoration in here, um, with the shiplap wallpaper and the faux wood bar barn doors. Um, it has gray colored wallpaper which is nice and neutral it's such a great alternative to that brown so you've got ample drawer space there's these are three really nice long deep drawers um, you have two hanging wardrobes and six more additional smaller drawers really nice you've got cabinets that that are high above for out of the way storage here that i cannot reach oh, those are pretty high up there that's uh... I mean, I could put stuff in there, but I don't know. Right, I, I would, would need really to know what was there. Um, AC above? Over the bed storage. Very nice. Queen size bed. Under the bed space. There's the tables for the back. Mm -hmm. That's a large area under the bed, too. Yeah, that could be like a little apartment. All right. It also has a central vac. Central vac? Yeah. Then you step up into the forward living area. I really like this, this area. Got three large couches that two of them will fold out. Um, your theater entertainment center. It has a, a fireplace and a really large TV. There's no, no table up here though. That's nice. The, so yes. you, you would have to use the table in, in the, the back, yeah. back or have well, a little pop-up table. I tell you what, I like it, though. I like it. And there is zero carpet <sighs> in yes. this unit, which is like amazing. So this is my favorite part. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Um, one thing I want to say, there's no vents in the floor in the kitchen area, which is a huge plus, so you don't drop anything down in there. Um, tons of counter space, 
Look at all this counter space, and it just wraps around. All the way around. All the way around. And this fridge is enormous. Lots and lots of cabinets and storage space in and here. Look out the window, like while you're doing whatever. I love having a sink by the by that giant window. Yeah, this and this fridge, man. This fridge is beautiful. Uh, yeah. It is a Furion fridge. Yeah, it's huge. I could climb in there. There's the a microwave. It's a micro yeah. convect. Oh, convection residential size. Right. This little bar. Excellent little area here. Yeah. You have a is... three burner cooktop with a small oven. Look at all. I would have liked to have seen a larger oven yeah. in this unit because I think that would have been more. You fitting. could have taken out but... those two drawers that are next to it and, and put a bigger or, oven. Or the the bottom drawer. Yeah, I mean it, you could have you could have. But look at all the. But this is amazing. Drawers and storage underneath there. Yeah, and these are nice, deep, long drawers. Lots and lots really of storage like space. I do mm -hmm. like The this. floor is nice also. It's not gonna show um, a lot of dirt. So looking at this side, you can see what it looks like from this side with the other, and that's a shallow slide. So when that slide is in, you're gonna have complete access yeah, come to, to this whole area right here. So I don't know how much room you'll have. I bet this is not that deep of a slide. I think you'll probably have about a foot between these two couches when this slide is in to get into the kitchen. I guarantee you could probably shimmy through that to get into the kitchen. And once you make it into the kitchen, you'll have the ability to open the fridge and do whatever. Uh, and again, when that one's... Right, with both slides in, you would be able to come in here and access this living Everything area. Everything here and that, mm -hmm. you would be able to sit on, um, sit on that area right there, still probably watch the TV. This is a really great unit. So what's this bathroom look like? Oh, yeah. You might be curious about the bathroom. Yeah. We have light. <laughs> the bathroom has a lot of light and a stainless steel oh, sink yeah. and a large shower. Giant shower, very tall. This is a six, seven, eight, eight foot ceiling in the shower. Nice cabinet, medicine cabinet. I like how they installed a towel rack, a towel bar. Oh yeah, absolutely. And that's one thing nice that you don't really see in a lot of a lot of new RVs is going to be a towel a rack towel bar. or even a toilet paper holder. Oh, did they put one? I was they looking did. for it's it. Here. It's right there. I'll, yeah, I would think it would probably be better there. But. I I would think so too. But hey, it's hey, got they one. It, they put it in there. So yeah. This is a, a pretty amazing fifth wheel. Does it have two ACs? Oh uh, yeah, it's got three ACs. Oh, right on. Got an AC here, AC in the middle, and an AC in the... You should have one AC per axle. Yep, that's true. <laughs> that's the new rule. Oh, what well, we got? Do not remove until sold. 105, 689. It's not really that bad. XLR toy hauler. So this is the... XLF a 407. That's going to do it for this one, guys. So until next time, take care of each other, love each other. Make every moment count. You got it.